Okay. It is about to turn daylight on day seven. We gotta make a run and get some wood. Scary night sounds that are way too loud. Can I fix that? Maybe those are ambient sounds. We'll see, won't we? We'll find out. Hopefully those are much quieter, but anyway. Hopefully the frame rate's gonna be okay and stuff. Um, but we are definitely going to run for wood because we're gonna get rid of this stupid thing for a better one. I was able to make a 220 stone axe a 220 iron fire axe that shovel sucks we'll fix that but we definitely want to replace this so we're going to make a very fast run for wood literally like right now we are going get the bow oh and I made a few more spikes I figured why not level some crafting and then I'll show you some cool tricks for normal console or not because like I said before we don't have the mods and we can't tweak the game to you know make it better make it easier you know we can't cheat or anything like that not that all mods are cheating but you know what I mean Realistically, there's not going to be these gigantic, like, hundreds and hundreds of zombies hordes. That's not going to happen. So we're definitely going to get some wood. Whoops, one more. Going to grab what we can. Whoops. Take a drink of water, eat some of these, get some stamina. There we go. If you have very low stamina, you will not do as much damage to a tree or a block or whatever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the time on this video because if this video is going to, like, if I play straight through to Horde Night and the video is going to end up being like 90 minutes long, I'm going to cut it into two videos. But I'll probably upload them both at the same time. That's probably what I'll do. Because I know people want to see Horde Night, you know. We've done a lot of preparing and things like that, and now I guess it's time to probably get on to the fun stuff. Whoops. Okay, so we're just going to have to sweat for a minute, get thirsty. Then we can drink some yucca juice and cool off. A very good thing to find. I may do a video on like how to survive in the desert because you know you've seen like you have heat strokes a lot it gets way too hot you have to drink yucca juice to stay cool but it actually can be a lot easier than that grab some of these we'll cut this tree just because it's here sounds like I'm getting thirsty all that grunting and groaning Here's somebody just laying here, you know, cut in half. Heck yeah, shotgun shells. Too bad I don't have a shotgun. All right, how much wood we got? Okay, let's make all of these that we can. Finish off those iron arrowheads I made. By the way, if you guys end up being able to hear my 
extremely loud and inconsiderate neighbors. I'm very, very sorry. I'm going to do my best to pull that background noise out. One of my motivations for starting this channel, actually, is to hopefully get it to where it can supplement my income and help out with moving on to better things and better places in life, you know what I mean? I've got other things that I do as well, it's not just this, but I figure this could definitely help. I'm all about seizing every possible opportunity, if it actually is an opportunity, that is. Some things just uh, pretend to be opportunities. Whoops, game lag. Those are not my favorite situations. I actually try my best to avoid those things, but... Get some stone. Make any last minute repairs that we can. Craft us a new stone shovel, maybe. Yeah, my neighbor's children actually knocked. Get, listen to this, I'm not lying about this. Nobody believes me. I don't talk about it much because everybody says I'm lying because there's no way, you know. But my neighbor's children, about an hour ago, literally knocked the power out to my house. I had no electricity. Oh, we've got a friend. What's up, friend? I ah, just roll into the river where I can't get you. Awesome. Cool, some boots and some tater seeds. How much stone we got? Got a hundred? That kind of sucks. Let's get some more. Just a little bit more. I saw somewhere, I don't remember if I read it or saw it in a video or what it was, because I'm a big fan of this game, among others. I saw it mentioned somewhere that the heat map effect of the forges, like how forges and campfires and stuff will attract zombies to you, well to the forges and stuff. Apparently that's not a thing until after the first horde night. So if that's true, and I don't doubt it, I'm, I guess it is, I've not had any problems. If that's true, then you can just run the crap out of your forge during the first week of the game. So you can just keep that forge burning 24-7, you know what I mean? It's pretty sweet. Get that thing filled up with a little bit of everything. All right, let's go back and make us a better pick because we will be needing a better pick. back as quick as we can. I like to carry yucca fruits on me and allow myself to be hungry and even thirsty. That way when I'm running I can eat yucca fruits because they give you back some stamina and you can drink water and yucca juice actually to give yourself back some stamina as well. So if you don't have beer on the game, that's a pretty good substitute. Doesn't work as good as the beer buff, but still pretty cool. By the way, if you do this this way, plug this hole. Destroy that ladder, I already did, and plug this hole. Never leave that hole open. That is not a good idea. Give me this. Let's make two more. 
stop our jar production and restart it at the back of the line. There we go. Probably going to run out of fuel here. Let's juice this back up a little bit. We want to keep this fire burning. We'll set it to about 15. That'll work. That will make that pick. Let's put some stuff up. Let's put this iron and coal and stuff up as well. Keep the stone on us. Eggs, potato seeds. We just ran out of space. That's not good. Oh, it'll be okay. So real quick, in this video, why it's okay to use this gas station and not do a whole lot of stuff to it. Number one, on Horde Night, they are absolutely going to break down that garage door and they are absolutely coming through that metal door right there. The good news is, at least I don't think, we'll find out, but I don't think that you have to contend with cops or ferals on the very first horde if you're on like adventurer difficulty or whatever's the one below that where the zombies never run. I think the first horde, the worst thing you'll see is gonna be spider zombies. Spider zombies, of course, can climb. They'll climb up your walls, but there's this lip that goes around the building, which will stop those spider zombies, and it goes all the way around. That's the reason when I set up these crates, I skip the space right here, and I just jump across rather than building steps up onto the roof and knocking that lip out right there. This lip stretches all the way around. So a spider zombie cannot get to you. Now, if you get cop zombies and things like that, they're probably going to be a problem. But they're not going to be as big a problem as you think. Because if they explode, they're down here, you're up there. If they puke, that does a lot of damage. But those are wood, you know, cut down a tree. You can make a very quick repair. It's not like they're going to blow the ceiling off this place. They're not going to. So you could put out some spikes like this. Most of the time what happens is if they come from the front right here, they're going to come from the front and run right here, and they're going to go for that door. So you put spikes along this and going around, and then you put spikes in front of the door. Now they'll come around this side, and they go for this garage door. There's a door in there that goes in. And worst case scenario, is they get in, you know, some of the crawlers are going through the windows. I'm not even going to bother boarding those up. It'll be fine. Um, they won't mess with this too much. As long as you're already on the roof at the start of Horde Night. Because the zombies can track you now. Even on console. So let's say the Horde starts. Whoops, I hit the barbed wire. And you're over here for some reason. And the you become hunted right here. Well, at that moment, the zombies know where you are, and they're coming to you. So they know the path that you're taking. They know that you came through right there, and they know you came to the back. That means, rather than try to go around to the front door, they're going to come to the back. That's what they're going to do. And when they come around to the back, they're going to try and figure out how to get to you from the back of this building. So you want to go ahead and be on the roof before that big scream happens and it becomes Horton. You want to already be up here. So that way they're just going to come and they know you're on the roof and for some reason they don't know how you got up here and they're just going to come and attack this building. And what you could do is you could sit right here, you can cover that garage door, you can cover the front right there as they come over the hill, you can cover the river as they come, Let's say they come from the back. That's really a terrible situation, but it's not that bad. They're going to be back here. You've got them covered. You've got this elevated position. So you're in good shape. That's the point, is you're in good shape on the roof of this building. You're going to be okay. It's not that bad. Make a frame here. Uh, and we do want to plug this hole. 
Now, to answer the possible question, can the spider zombies crawl up and hurt that lip right there? The zombies cannot attack straight up and they cannot attack straight down. So the answer to that is no. If they do do damage, it's because of some glitch or something that might happen, but they're not gonna come through that lip up onto the roof. It won't happen, I promise. So you're good on the roof of this building. You could even just sit here and just let the horde pass. That's nowhere near as fun, you know, but you could do it if you wanted to. I've survived many, many hordes um, well past day 100 actually, very well past day 100, on the roof of this building. So it definitely will serve you well to just go ahead and hang out on the roof of this building. Your stuff's going to be okay. You're fine. I promise. You're going to be alright. If you want to, you can top off with some extra spikes. You know, that way you've still got some after the horde. They might destroy them all. Who knows? But that's what they're for. You know what I mean? It sucks that, you know, you lose your spikes, but that's what they're for. And you want to put them where you know the zombies are going to be. That's where you want to put them. Like, I know there's going to be zombies around this stupid thing. So I'm going to put spikes right there. I know there's going to be zombies in this area next to this vending machine. They're going to be right there. So I'm going to throw some spikes in that area. Anything that helps you just go ahead and finish them off. That way you save your arrows. You save your bullets. It's going to be beneficial. And that pretty much is how you can really, really easily survive your very first horde night on this game. And maybe you can't get to this gas station because you don't know the map real well, you've never played before. Just look for a place that's got a lip around the ceiling. All the way around, 360 degrees, so to speak. This is a very square building, of course. But just look for something that has a lip that goes all the way around, and you're going to be okay. I promise. You're going to do just fine. Now, what else do we need? We've got some stone. I can top off with some more arrows, I guess. Put those up. Put these shells up. Oh, wow, I've got money. I forgot about that. What else do I need for Horde Knight? I actually think I'm ready to fight the Horde. I think I'm good. Got some jars in here. That's, that's a good thing, definitely. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make 16 more jars of that. What the hell? Four? Oh, you need four to make a jar. Never mind. And I'm going to replace those yucca fruits with these yucca fruits and free up a space to throw in some money. Where'd my money go? Oh, I've still got a space then. Even better. That's working out really good. Let's make a stone shovel just for fun. We'll craft that up. And we'll stick it on here and just combine them. There we go. Get one more little level out of it. Never hurt anybody. Got those extra jars. We'll put those up. And I've already got extra water and there's plenty of food in here for her now. We're going to be fine. I know we will be. Let's see if I can make a crap ton more iron arrowheads. Well, we don't want to make that many. So let's make 200. That'll be fair enough. We'll make 200. Oh, I'm having a heat stroke really bad. There we go. That'll cool us off. Now, the way that you could avoid heat stroke and stuff like that on this game is you want to find a t-shirt. You want to find a pair of shorts. Uh, that will help you a lot. Also, take your mining helmet. Actually, that doesn't add insulation anymore. That used to add 10 degrees of insulation. So real quick, let's run down the road and let's see if we can pull um, some clothes out of this crap that's up here that I know is up here. I don't know that I can jump across this right now. 
So we'll just hop in the river and cool off. Swim across. That'll give us a, a quick chill. There we go. Now we can move a little bit quicker. Maybe grab some more fruit. There'll be a couple zombies up here. There always are. There's one right there, actually. Come on, give me a shirt and a pair of shorts. That'd be awesome. All right. Oh, well. Oil. Why not, right? Sometimes you need oil. Whoops, I missed her. That sucks. What we got? Nothing? Okay, that's fine. Undetected. There's going to be crawlers up here. There's one laying. There's another one laying. We're going to take care of these guys. You don't want these guys making a ton of noise. Whoops. Like, you do not want these guys making a ton of noise. All that grunting and groaning and crap that they do, you got to shut these guys up. See what I mean? You got to shut these guys up really quick. Make sure you make them be quiet. Because they do attract more. Do not let them sit and mouth off and attract a ton of zombies. You don't need that right now. Later on, when you've got a bunch of guns and crap, it don't matter. Right now, you don't need that. Because all you're going to do is use up all your ammo, and then you don't have any good stuff yet. You know what I'm saying? So just keep them quiet if you can. Try and be stealthy. Take them out as quickly as possible and make them shut up. Hopefully we'll get some clothes out of this. We might not. It doesn't look like we're going to. But that's okay. What about that car? We'll check this car. I see another zombie. Hey, we found a leg armor book. See, like, there's two zombies. We will, this one time, engage the zombies just for the small chance that they have clothes. Those guys have a lot of health. Those guys are hard to bring down, shoot them in the head. Definitely shoot them in the head. Moving on. Okay, we're not hunted. Good. That was a success. Checking my time. We're getting a little bit long here. That's okay. Grab some more fruit. You can never have too much. Just remember, make some seeds out of some of it. You don't want to get yourself in trouble. If you're big on, like, medicine and science and stuff, uh, make aloe seeds as well. How about that? Two birds' nests right next to each other. That's pretty sweet. Here's a car. We'll check this car. We'll check this garbage as well. Feather. We'll check this garbage first. Whoops. Nothing. Check the car. Nothing. Let's read the book. Make sure you read the book and you don't scrap the book. I've made that mistake before. It sucks. Okay, let's cool off. Take a dip in the water. Get our body temperature down. Way too hot. I'll probably make a video on how to maintain your temperature and stuff in the desert. I think that'll be a cool video because um, I started this Let's Play just, you know, for fun. This is for me, you know what I mean? And I thought it'd be cool to just play the game. I've never, I've always wanted to do gaming videos. I said that in my very first video, and I just decided it was time to do it because I, you know, with the limited resources I have, I could still realistically pull it off. But anyhow, I've got a base right here on uh, another single-player world. I'm on day 230-something, 
and I am doing just fine. So it's very possible. But on that note, the Day 7 Horde will be coming very, very shortly, and I'm about ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to call this video. Thanks for watching. Please tune in for the next one where we will be fighting the Horde. I'm Chris, and thanks again.